Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Rue Design Studio. Today we are here with Flooring Inc. and we're going to talk about choosing the right tile for your space. Stay tuned with me for some expert advice on how to pick the right tile. Hi, welcome back to our designer series for Flooring Inc. Today we're going to talk about choosing the right tile for your space. We're going to look at several different samples of tiles and just talk a little bit about what would go better in different areas and then get a little bit into textured tiles and marbles as well. So we're going to start first with picking the right size tile for your space. When we're talking about choosing a tile for a large area in your home, let's say your common areas, your great room, kitchen, you want to pick a format of tile that is larger. When you pick a larger format tile, the size of the tile is going to make the space feel more expansed. Also, you have less grout joints with that, so you're going to have less maintenance with the grout as well as less joints to look at. So that makes it flow a lot better in a larger space and is highly recommended. So when you're looking at designing a smaller space, such as a powder room, I like to look at smaller format tiles. So for example, this mosaic right here, this arabesque mosaic, is a marble mosaic and this is something that I love to look at when I'm doing something like a smaller powder room. You can get a little bit more creative and in smaller spaces you can put smaller tiles on the floor. It's a way to add a lot of drama and it's not going to make it look really busy because it's a smaller space. Since we're talking about powder rooms, I want to branch over and talk about wet areas. So one of the most common mistakes that people make are choosing the wrong tiles for their bathrooms. Something to consider always when you're designing a bathroom is the slip of the tile. For example, we wouldn't want to select a highly polished tile for a floor in a bathroom because that's already slippery on its own. Once you add water to that, it's a recipe for disaster. We're going to talk a little bit about these texture tiles here. Looking at this large format tile, this tile here has a lot of texture to it. If you rub your hand over this, it has highs and lows and feels like a natural stone, even though it is actually a porcelain tile. This is something that would be perfect to yeah. use in a bathroom or on shower walls because it is absolutely matte and non-slip. Another thing to consider is using something like this. This right here is a product made by Doll Tile and it is smooth to the feel and doesn't have the highs and lows that this has, but this is an anti-slip tile. It's still matte and it's made specifically to use in those tough wet areas. So this larger format would be perfect in the area where you have your vanities or your water closet. But when we start talking about shower or tub area, we start talking about the smaller format tiles. And I have a couple different ones here to show you. I had to pull this one because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. But this is a perfect example of size that you want to incorporate into a shower floor. So you always want to use something that is around two inches or smaller in the shower. And the reason for that is because the smaller the shower, the more grout joints you have. And the more grout you have, the more traction you have. Large format tiles would not be something that I would put even as anti-slip in your shower floor. You always want to do something that's smaller in size. Another example of a smaller format tile that can be used is this porcelain tile that's made to look like marble and this hexagon or picket pattern. The picket pattern is trending for 2020. It's one of those geometrics that is really, really neat in shape. So you can see that this is smaller than the stones were, and the grout joints are actually smaller, but there's more of them. So this is one of those examples of smaller format that is gonna work as anti-slip because you're gonna have a lot more grout involved. Thanks for joining me as we talked about choosing the right tile for your space. Stay tuned as we talk about more things in the next designer series.